This project is truly a grassroots effort. After looking at professionally designed options that cost anywhere from sixty to a hundred thousand dollars, the staff looked around and considered the level of talent and ingenuity that we had on hand and said, we can do this. <laughs> so they did, and off they went. It began last summer, uh, $5,000 donated by the James and Ann Robinson Foundation, and the staff from the Nature Center and the department's construction division carved out time from their regular duties to go to work. All the materials are local from either this site or other park sites in the county. Uh, I just want to let you know, John, it's not just for kids. Um, I've already christened the slide, uh, jumped in head first, guys, and went on through. Um, it just looked like it needed to be done. I mean, I just saw it there, I just needed to jump into it. Um, but it's a wonderful place for kids to come, creative, outdoor space, for them to learn more about the environment, also just to learn, just to experience and be inspired by what goes on around them, and the opportunity to get away from those uh, games and things. Let them get outside, let them learn more about what's around us and how they can be part of it. And so that's what makes this place so special. I certainly want to thank the Robinson family. Again, they can never be thanked enough for what they provide to our county. That, not park, but exploration place, um, brings together two of my loves. One is my love of science and the environment, and the other is my love of art. And when you walk down there, you see the intersection of science and art. And the exhibits, or the exhibits, the, the, the things that you can interact with cause you to ask really important questions like why, and how, and when. And in answering those questions, we all become smarter, we all become more connected, we all become part of this bigger picture. Three, two, one, go get it!